baking bread, painting a portrait, or creating a sculpture. You don't often read these things in the same sentence, but if you visit a local breadworks, you will find that it has all of these in common. Artists working in an artisan bakery. What would be the correlations for this? I was able to talk with Alec Waller, a local artist and baker, and ask him his thoughts about the renewal and revival effort on the south side of Chattanooga. He shared his thoughts and feelings about the art community here in the city and what's keeping all of this going and keeping it flourishing. Um, I would say that the art community here in Chattanooga is, is uh, vibrant. Um, for me, it's been a real uh, great place to be. I feel like the, the city has, has really come behind the arts, um, and young artists especially. There's a lot of grants from not only the city, but also like private foundations like the Lyndhurst Foundation. Um, and then uh, they've got programs like Create Here, uh, which gives like young artists the tools they need in order to uh, make a career out of their passion. I know for me, art has always been a big part of my life. I think I was probably three years old when I first picked up a pad of paper and a pencil. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been creating. Um, yeah, I've really found a good fit in Chattanooga. Uh, it takes work, um, but one of the best things about Chattanooga is the, just the number of artists who live here um, and are well established. And I've had the, the opportunity to work with uh, a sculptor who is very similar in terms of his passions and his, his style. Um, I'm kind of a mentor uh, in my life, and I'm actually, this studio space that I'm using is, <laughs> is his. But I would say this community is probably one of the best in the region for the arts, um, visual, um, musical, culinary, but especially the, the visual arts. I also talked with Alec about why the artists work in the bakery, and he gave his thoughts about why it possibly attracts more artists to work there. When I asked if it was the flexible work hours, the great work environment, the laid back schedule, he said, I think so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely the schedule aspect of it, which is great. Uh, getting in there at the crack of dawn and then having the afternoon free is, is very nice. Um, still being able to get about 40 hours a week, I mean, that's great. Uh, I think also just the, the spirit behind that, that business is particularly encouraging for artists. Uh, John Sweet himself is what I would call an artisan or an artist, um, and that, that bakery is run with emphasis not solely on the business side of it, but also on the, the creative uh, Part. I mean, it's an artisan bakery, so I've, I've been able to use the same um, skill set that I learned being a sculptor uh, in the way I, I handle the bread. It's, it's very much a hands-on process, so yeah, I think that, that attracts artists, just the, the fact that you're creating, you're in the process of creating. Um, so it's, it's been great, and just the people think because there's already a few artists there, it just attracts more artists, you know? So. He showed me around the studio and let me see some of his previous works that he had created. Also, he gave some words of encouragement to young and up-and-coming art students who plan on making a career in art. Um, this is an example right here of what uh, my specialty is, what I've been trained in, and, and also what Cessna has um, has done a lot of, and this is a portrait bust um, done from a, a live model who comes in and, and sits for you, um, and um, everything is done um, with the model. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this is one of my favorite pieces uh, until it went into the kiln, where it exploded and. <laughs> She lost her face, but um, that was a study I did in, in college. Uh, 
another fragment. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another thing. Art has a, its fair share of disappointment. Uh, you spend hours on a piece and then uh, can lose it like that. So. To see more projects that are going on on the Southside Renewal effort of Chattanooga, you can go to createhere.org for more information.